moving on. So over here on the left hand side, we have the contents of my flash drive, and you actually have the ability to come into this section and change it to whatever drive you want, your hard drive, flash drive, maybe you're, maybe you're dealing with files on a mapped network server, but your files will be over here. You can drag those into the server's files, and the server's files are over here. And normally, most web hosts are going to give you a folder called public underscore HTML. I'm going to go into that since I'm already logged in and show you that there's only one file in there. I cleared it out this morning. I cleared it out. I got rid of everything. And now I just have index.html. So what the next step is, is for me to take all those files in that WordPress folder that I just downloaded and move them all into my server. And this is how I'm going to do it. First off, I'm going to get rid of the index file. Oh no, your website's dead. Yes, it is. Right now, my website's dead. Because I just deleted the home page, right? It's gone. You can tell how heartbroken I am right now. Here are all the files for WordPress. All of them. So we're going to select all the files. And just do this. So this is going to take a little while. How many files on there? Well, there's only a thousand? Okay, great. Well, I want to talk about a couple things while these thousand files are moving over. Let's go back to the web for a second. I'd actually like to take you to a couple places. The first thing is the uh, web host, because I said I was going to show you this. Yes, that's a brand new one. Okay. So I'm a member, so I'm going to sign in. I don't care if you have my email address. Just don't email me there, Chris. Oh, wait. Chris isn't here. <laughs> Nobody email me at this address because I never check it. I only use it for uh, this purpose. Oh, man, what is that word? Mobile? I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess that's the word. Oh, I was right. So in your instructions that I gave you guys in this packet for installing WordPress, you talk about a C panel or a control panel. Every web host seems to have one of these. So I'm going to go into my cPanel for nickrouse.tk. So here it is. So if you scroll down past all the garbage, you get to something called MySQL. And this is what I want to show you guys. So what they allow you to do is they allow you to set up these MySQL databases. And they're easy. This is how easy it is. Your username, underscore, whatever database name you decide to give it. Your username again, underscore, whatever username you decide to give it. So database name, username, then you set the password, and then you type the password again, and it's created. And then you get databases. Now, I pay no money. Look, I have multiple databases. I've got one for nickrouse.com, and I've got one for my nickrouse.tk. So that's the one I'm going to use tonight. That's where I get the database information, user information. I just typed into that PHP file and my SQL host information. I just set it up right here and I just go click. Now, I have to remember my password. So if this fails, and yes, this is, real, this is real time. If this fails and I forgot my password, what file do I have to go back in and edit again? I have to edit that wp-config.php file because if I don't do that, then it will never work. Once I get the password going, then I can show you guys the web interface. Because once this is done, wow, it's over halfway done already. It's almost halfway done already. I want to show you a couple more things during this time. This is how easy it is to set up a SQL database. Depending, again, depend, it should be this easy no matter what web host you go through. They should make it this easy. I pay no money for this. I never had the site hacked. Now I've done wood. I keep my passwords pretty much secure. So, and yes, even if I have a password in there, people can't like go in there and try to hack the password. That's not how that works. That PHP file is very secure. Okay, continuing on. So this is, so let me go back to, uh, yeah, let me go back to the control panel. So keep this in mind too. Another thing I want to show you is, they also have in here, file managers. And this is what I was talking about with FTP client. It can either be web-based or it can be client-based. This is the web-based version on the right, client-based version on the left. Client-based is the, 
is the FileZilla program. FileZilla program takes no space on your flash drive. Oh, it did have the right password in. Sweet. So you'll notice the same types of things here, the public underscore HTML directory. This is the web-based model of the FTP client. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol, if you do not remember. You notice what we're doing right here. I've still got 128 files. It's almost done. It's almost done. Which is great, because then I can finally build my website. I still have 50 minutes in this presentation. It's plenty of time to build a website, right? Yeah, why not? So, there's another thing I wanted to show you. I don't want this anymore. I'm going to log out. But the bottom line is, yes, that's a, that's a web-based FTP client that I just showed you on the right. Every web host should allow you to do that as well. I'm done? Boy. Okay, let me continue. So, moving on. I'm actually going to log out of my web host. So just keep that in mind that your web host gives you the ability to set up MySQL databases. It allows you to have an FTP client. That I, is for, that mandatory for the FTP client? No, I prefer this method. I prefer having my own program like FileZilla. Because you see how fast those files went through? That's the drawback. When you try and do that through here, you have to usually go folder by folder. Yeah. And that's a pain. So I prefer this method way more than the web-based method. Does that answer your question? Yes. So, moving on. Uh, one more thing I wanted to do while those, I, you know, this is the record of the fastest those files have ever loaded. So, there were a couple other things I wanted to do during that time. So, I'm going to log out now out of my web server, so, or excuse me, web host. And the next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to show you guys, yes, there are different plugins you can download for WordPress. And the one I'm going to use tonight, the one I'm going to use tonight, the one I really like a lot, Where are we at? No, that's not the one I want. Oh, it's wp-e-commerce. My bad. There it is. So wp-e or wp-e-commerce. I've used this before. I'm going to use this tonight. I'm going to download it right now. You notice that 263 people gave it five stars. 361 people gave it once. One star. Well, it's all on how you use it. It's all on how you use it. 2.4 million people have downloaded it. Again, it's totally customizable. And you notice what you can use it with. PayPal payments, standard, pro, express checkout, Google Wallet, authorize.net, eway.net, first data, link point, ideal, blue paid. So you have many different methods or you can integrate different types of payment gateways. We've talked about the PayPal payment gateway primarily in this class. So again, it's going to allow you to use your Google Wallet or Google Checkout account, your PayPal account, different types of payment gateways, depending if you're paying for one or if you're not. I prefer the free ones to start because your business usually has to start from somewhere, right? That's right. Again, you wouldn't just fire up your business without having some kind of plan, right? I hope. Okay. So I'm gonna leave I'm actually gonna download that and I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah, I'll just leave it down here for a minute. Actually I want to throw it up on my desktop, so let me uh, where's that at? Okay, good. And uh, everybody just uh, as a note, when you download these plugins, leave them in their original zip folder not unzip that. So I'm just going to move the zip file to the desktop. Don't worry, I'll get rid of that when I'm done. Okay, last thing I want to do, last thing I want to talk about uh, before we get into building the page. Do I need some products? Yes. Do I need some products? What are we selling again? 
oh, you don't say beer glasses. Everybody's like, everybody's like, no, I don't want to say it on the camera. Oh my God, I can't see this, and they really, they really freak out. They go, can you do that in class? I suppose I'm not doing anything that's um, illegal. It's not really illegal or R-rated. I mean, we're not selling the actual beer for clarification purposes. We're selling the glasses. Somebody asked me, are you selling beer? No, we're not selling beer. We're selling paraphernalia. We're not selling the actual product. So, but we have other products too, didn't we? Like coasters and, this is a shop and I want to show you guys how to build a shop quickly. So here we go. So let me see, do you have any good one? Oh, you guys really liked this one, didn't you? <clears throat> All right, yeah, I like that one too. So let me see, can I save the image? Yeah, sure I can. I'm just gonna save that on the desktop. I was like, man, you're working on the desktop a lot tonight. Well, you know, I'm just gonna call this one image one. Keep it easy, right? All right, first image has been downloaded. Let's go back. No, let's go forward. Okay, great. Let's pick another one. Ooh, Halloween time, right? Okay, that's what, that's what I'm talking about. Skull of Doom beer stein? Oh, that's great. Okay. No, I don't know. I'm just going to call it image two. Keep in mind, we have to remember what these are, right? Oh, and I like lowercase. That's right. Okay. Where's my other image on the desktop? I don't even see it. Right there. Oh, that's better. Thanks. It wasn't populating. Okay, that's better. Okay, so I'm going with the skull beer mug. What else am I going with? What's that? No, I don't care about that. I want something cool. I want one more. I want three products. That one. Which one? one? You're right. Now. This. Oh, that one. Oh, look at you. Yeah, but it's got a watermark on it. I don't like watermarks. My other phone. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> no, that's not part of our that's not part of our product. Can't waste time here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna find one. What about the ones with the mustaches? The ones with the mustaches. That's great. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of me. All right, I'm in. You talked me into it. Okay, so we got my three products. I'm not gonna sell. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell more later. Alright, so I installed all my files. My files are now, if you notice, on FileZilla. It's done installing. I have 1,061 files successfully transferred. So now here's the big test. Here's the big test. I have to log in now. I have to see if this works. Well, that's not where I wanted to go. At least now you know that one works, right? This is the big test right here. Okay. WordPress has been updated before you send me. Okay, fine. Update WordPress. Anyway. Hopefully that won't take long. Okay, great. It's been down. Okay. Now you notice I went to nickrouse.tk slash wp dash admin. So this is where my this is this is my web interface. I'm now logging into the web interface that I installed here. Now we wouldn't see this show up. There would be an error message if I got that password wrong. If I got the password wrong, and yes, I have to close Notepad now, so I don't want you to see my password. This is the file that I edited. I edited that wp-config.php file. If the password was wrong, at this screen right here, you would see an error message. So who got the password right? Yes. So now, here's a bigger trick. I have to put in my username and my password. Well, by default, your username is... No, I don't want you typing this in right now. And the password... I hope is this one. Cross your fingers. Yes, that's 
that's it. All right, now we're in business. So, folks, now that my heart attack is gone, because once we get to this point, the rest of this presentation, I love the rest of this presentation. This means this is success. That means I installed the old files correctly. I am now done with this. I'm done with this. I'm done with it. I'm closing it. FileZilla is gone. So that's all you needed to do with the FTP client? Yeah, that's it. I'm done. Now we're at the dashboard. So the great thing about WordPress is the ability to be able to manage content. And you can build so many pages for your site through this. But the great thing about this is you can customize the appearance of your site through themes. So over here on the left-hand side, notice we have all of our options for our dashboard. One of those is a theme, is the appearance themes. And, oh, how nice, there's a new 2013 theme. How cute. So I want you to keep, I want you to keep this in mind, that with these WordPress themes, there's thousands of these themes. I mean, there are so many of these themes. You could sit there for days and search for themes. If I clicked on install themes, look at this. Manage themes is where it defaults to when you click on install themes. Look what it gives you the option to do. It gives you the plus you, gives you, plus you get it. it. gives you the option to search for themes by keyword. Hmm. I don't know if I like that one very, I don't know if I like that very much. Let's see. <clears throat> ah. Okay. Store gave the keyword store gave me three different items. Ooh, I like this one here in the middle. I don't know if I can get it to work like I want it to. Again, there's so many themes. Let me go back to search again. I'm going to go tan, I'm going to go two columns, actually I go one column. Okay, ooh, you can do holiday themes. No, let's not do holiday theme. But if you can't do an Oktoberfest theme, and notice what I chose. I chose tan and I chose one column. And look at these themes that come up. So I want to build a store, so many different options. Again, are you going to find one that you like? Yeah, you'll eventually find one that you like. But I kind of want to use one that I can, oh, copy one? Man, why am I not doing this on copy? I would have bought her. Don't make me choose 2013. I really don't want to choose 2013. This is the hard part of the presentation. What are we going to do? Did you pick two columns and one column at the same time? What are we going to do? I'm going to use Esplanade. I'll click install now. This is how easy it is to install a theme. Click install now, unpacking the package, installing the theme, boom, done. So, if I want to activate that theme, I click activate. And now my theme is Esplanade. Now, if I want to customize this theme, I have to come in here and customize it. What? I've got to change my tagline. Site title and tagline. So, should I change that from nickgrouse.tk, the king of all whips? What's our, what's our site about? Beer. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Professor Rouse's beer mugs and more. That's, that's right. That's what, that's what we originally called it, right? Okay, and my tagline is going to be okay. I have a tagline demo number three for CIS two thirty five. Colors. Well, I don't know if I really like the background. I don't know. I don't want something more. Do we want something more like beer type colors? I feel like the dark blue, or I'll stick with the dark blue. Notice you can put in hexadecimal code there. Oh, background image. No, 
notice I have no image. And look, see how easy it is? Drop the file here or select the file. So if I wanted a nice background image, I could go ahead and do that. I'm going to just keep it as a color, though. And static front page, front page displays your latest posts or just a simple page that does not change. So you have an option to choose. So wait a minute, so how often am I post? Well, remember we talked about dynamic versus static. So a dynamic page would have what? Your Twitter feeds, your Facebook updates, your blog postings, if you will. This is essentially blog software. But what people don't realize is you can turn it into a storefront in a heartbeat. Most people use it for blogs, just as an FYI. But it's not really blogging software. A lot of businesses use it too. All right. So in this case, do I really want my posts for this demo? No. I guess I just want to pay. You notice it gives you different options. Front page. Ooh, I can put products on my front page. Kind of like that. Post. I don't want a post page, do I? Hey, look. This is the this is the page that will display all of Nick Rouse's wonderful memorabilia from his teaching days at Phoenix College. 2010. I'm still working there. Jeez. What's this one? Form test. I don't know what that is, but okay. Save and publish, because I'm going to have more options, so I'm going to publish it immediately. Then I'm going to go back through and make the changes. Close. Here's the deal. I can make changes to these pages if I wish. And yes, do I want to make changes to these pages? Absolutely I want to make changes to the pages. You notice down here you have theme options under your appearance section here in the dashboard. And you have different tabs here, general, layout. Yes, you can change the layout. 